Shalom. Kon Lamna Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Konkadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and to the apostles and great millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is a correction video from today's live stream. I'll go ahead and play that part and then go into the correction. Let's continue. Being chosen in the land that was under paganism, the land of the Chaldeans, the land of Uz. So just talk so about Abraham. Let's go back. In the self same day as the Most High said unto him, and Abraham was 90, 90 years old, 90 years old and nine, when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. See that? So now we gotta get circumcised in our mind. Yep. So this is a spiritual circumcision now. You see? So even Abraham was raised by a pagan father, Terah. So, so we are reliving Abraham walk being chosen in the land that was under paganism the land of the chaldeans the land of us not the land of us okay abraham so i'm gonna go here <clears throat> abraham would eventually travel to the land of canaan but abraham dwelt and was from the land of ur here so I'll go into the scripture. Uh, it's the land of Ur, right here. The area of Babylon, where he traveled, followed the red dot northwest to Haran, and then southwest to Canaan. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to the book of Genesis chapter 11. <clears throat> The book of Genesis, chapter 11. Let's read verse 23. And Sarag lived after he begot Nahar 200 years and begot sons and daughters. And Nahar lived nine and 20 years and begot Terah. And Nahar lived after he begot Terah 119 years and begot sons and daughters. <coughs> Excuse me. And Terah lived 70 years and begot Abram, Nahar, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran begot Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. So this is where Abraham was from. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai. Let's look her name up. And the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. So the land of Ur. Let's jump down to verse 30. But Sarai was barren. She had no child. And Terah took Abram, his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees, not the land of Uz, to go into the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran and dwelt there. <clears throat> I'm going to look up. Because her name was changed to Sarah. So Sarai. <clears throat> Go to 
comes from the Greek Strong's H8297 Sarai Sarai Princess One moment I can't remember this Yeah, let's look up her original Where her name was changed to Right here, Genesis 17 and 15. <clears throat> okay, it comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H8283, Sarah, Sarah. Noble woman. So she became the mother of a great multitude of the chosen seed of Abraham, which would go through Isaac and Jacob. <clears throat> anyway, so this is the route. <clears throat> so Abraham, or Abram, which his name started out as Exalted Father, and was changed to Abraham, father of a great multitude. From the land of Ur, right here, it's along the, the Euphrates River and then barely touching the Tigris River on the eastern side. <clears throat> and here's another map, the land of Ur, as you can see. So here's a good note. Terah and Abram set out from Ur and journeyed to Haran. <clears throat> Terah and Abram set out from Ur and journeyed to Haran. And you can see the red dotted trail to Haran in the area of Assyria. And then what goes southwest by the Aleppo region through Damascus down into the ancient area of Canaan and near Shechem. <clears throat> And there's the last map that shows a blown up portion. Let's go here. A blown up portion of the area of Canaan. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go here to the book of Genesis chapter 12. Abram journeys to Egypt. <clears throat> now the Lord has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. <clears throat> and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. These are Israelites scattered into all nations <coughs> because Israel is a company of nations. The 12 tribes are nations. Verse 4, so Abram departed as the Lord has spoken unto him and Lot went with him. And Abram was 70 and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. And into the land of Canaan they came. So that's the key point. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sichem, unto the plain of Moriah. And the Canaanite was in the land. Let's look up Sichem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's age, 7927. Shechem. Shechem. So that's Shechem, which we saw on the map. 
the modern day area of Palestine. <clears throat> so we saw that on the map. We go back. <clears throat> Land of Canaan right here. I'm trying to make this as big as I could. But that's the key point. So when I spoke here and said the land of us, I stand corrected. Abram reside or dwell in Ur of the Chaldees. <clears throat> Hopefully this has been an edifying lesson. Shem Shalom.